input stream and output stream classes in Java. How can we use input stream, output stream and their several method with the help of these classes in our Java program? Hello everyone, I am Sukanya from GoEduHub Technology and in this video we are going to discuss about stream, the input and output stream and then implement a program with the help of it. So stream by definition is a sequence of data. In Java, a stream is composed of bytes. Java has three streams are created for us automatically and attached with the whole console. Those are system.out which we use for print and statements along with that and that is a standard output stream. Similarly, there is system.in which is the standard input stream. And the last one is system.err that is it stands for any error stream. Now input stream classes is an abstract class. It is a super class of all classes representing an input stream of bytes. Java application uses an input stream to read data from a source file. It may be a file, an array, peripheral device or a socket. So input stream has file input stream, pipe input stream, filter input stream, byte array input stream, sequence input stream and spring buffer input stream. File filter input stream is further divided into data input, buffered input, line number input and pushback input streams. There are several methods in input stream classes also and the first is public extract in read throws input output exception. Now what it does it reads the next byte of the data from the input stream it returns minus one at the end of the particular file. Similarly there is public int available throws input output exception. Why are we using this input output exception always so that we can if there is any exception that is previously declared in the program and that can be cached and resolved them only so that it doesn't you know heed the program execution. So it returns an estimate of the number of bytes that can be read from the current input stream. Public void close throws exception IO input output exception and that is it is used to close the current input stream. If any input is given then we want to close it then we use this particular method. Similar to input there is output method stream classes also and it is used to write data to a particular destination. If you want to write the data then we use that output stream. It is divided into file output stream, piped output, filter output and byte array output stream. File output stream is further divided into data output, buffered output and print stream. It also has several methods just like the input stream classes and those are public void write int throws input output exception. If you want to write a byte to the current output stream, you can use this particular method. Similarly, for the write byte throws exception, if you want an array of a byte to currently used as written in the output stream. Similarly, void flush, flush the current output stream and close is used to close the current output stream. Now here you can see a program is here and we have imported the package of Java input output all the particular methods we have imported for this program and there is a class created sample. Now there is a string welcome to go to technologies output stream in new file output stream sample dot text it is stored bytes format we have converted the string into the byte array we have os dot write we have written into the file and then we have closed that particular file. Similarly for input new file stream sample dot text a flag variable is set and we have to read the characters from the file and then it is closed. Similarly, if there is any exception of which we have declared earlier input output exception dot e, then you can print that and an exception is occur if there is any exception in the program. So let us firstly execute this program and see the working of it. Here you can see that I have written that particular program for the creation of a file and then writing in that particular file and what I have written the string str that is welcome to go to have technologies. Now firstly what I will do is I will compile this particular program to check that if there are any errors or not. So no there are no errors and as I run the class file the class file is sample. So what it returns me that welcome to go to have technology but this is in the console screen where my folder which I have made is as Java programs you can see here a sample text document is also created and it will be written of that particular stream that we have created a new file and that is having that particular str what we have written welcome to go to hub technology so let us check that this test document yes it is having you can see here welcome to go to hub technologies just after the class file a text document is created that is how actually file works that we have created a new file in the input stream we have written that particular 
file you can see here a new file input stream and it converts into the byte and what the file name we have is put here sample.txt so you can see here a sample.txt document is created a text document is created so this is how input and output streams actually work in java programming for any file creation and you can write several bits to there or you can edit it or you can change it and several other functions you can do with the help of methods there in input output stream classes for more examples of java programming and the concept we will look into upcoming videos thank you